Hi, so I got these flower pots at like Dollar Tree literally in January and I thought they'd be fun to paint, so let's go. So I started off mixing pink and white and I made a lighter color of the pink paint and I later came back and muted this a little, but anyway, I painted the bottom of this pot pink, set it aside, we came back after it dried and we're ready to go. So I began to start painting some strawberries with a little bit darker color of pink mixed with red. I don't know, nothing really specific on the technique, you just kind of make little rounded triangles, I guess. So yeah, I kind of just alternated them, made them kind of... I'm not sure how you would describe that, but... <laughs> There was a pattern, it's not completely random. And then now I'm going and I'm getting a red and I'm just drawing some little shadows because when I come in and add the white seeds, this will give it a lot more dimension and pop. And I followed a similar staggering technique as to when I was drawing the strawberries themselves. Okay, and now I'm adding some seeds. This isn't quite white, it's actually light pink because white would be a little bit too bright. I'm just kind of drawing them on top of the red dots, but a little off to the side to add that shadow effect. All right, and now I've got two colors for the leaves. And honestly, <laughs> I just, I kind of draw like a little X and then add a stem to it. And I think that's the best way to do this. Some of my leaves end up being a little bit wider and bigger than I wanted. So honestly, the little small cute ones were probably best. But yeah, I went in with the darker color first. trying to get that shape locked in. I think towards the end I finally figured out what looks best. <laughs> it's always how it goes. And then I'm coming back and just putting a little bit more pink to correct where I went too far with the green. So I just want to add in here that I have absolutely no idea what happened to the clip of me adding little highlights to those leaves, so sorry. <laughs> All right, and now I am mixing some light blue. And I'm gonna paint the bottom of my other pot. I'm getting some yellow and I'm gonna paint the rim. At this point I was getting like Winnie the Pooh vibes and I was so tempted to like draw Winnie the Pooh on the bottom but I decided to stick with my initial design. So here I'm adding some little drips. I'm not really sure how to describe the technique for drips, you just kind of do a skinny thing in a blob. <laughs> but yep, just adding some drips around, make them look nice and drippy. Alright, and now I'm going to come in and I'm going to start adding some honeycomb. It's like super hard to draw <laughs> symmetrical honeycomb, so definitely something I'm going to work on. It's especially difficult with a paintbrush, I think, like getting those sharp angles. But I think I figured it out pretty good. And so this is supposed to be like honeycomb and then there's like little dripping honey dripping off the side. I 
Now I'm sure you could guess what I was gonna paint next, of course. So these are my little bees. <laughs> I have an interesting art style for drawing bees. Right now they just look kind of like little lemons or like sideways teardrops, but they'll come together, I promise. <laughs> definitely looks like little lemon polka dots all over. So now I'm adding the little wings in a very light blue. Just around, some of them have like one wing visible because the other's behind, some of them have two. Now I'm adding the stripes. I decided to go with like a dark yellow and I ended up coming back and doing almost like an orange so you could actually see it. <laughs> so there we go. I went with orange and it's kind of hard to see on the camera. It's a little bit more visible in real life, but I didn't want to go with black like a traditional bee because I thought it would be too harsh and contrast too much with the rest of my design, so I settled on orange and I think it was a good choice. I'm just going back and touching up those lines, making sure they're nice and visible. And then I'm adding a little bit of shadow to the drips. I kind of went off camera a little bit. <laughs> I'm still learning. And then I'm adding a dark shadow under the rim. This will also hide any imperfections I had. Now I'm adding some little antennas to the bees. And here I'm adding some little eyes to my bees. I went in with white and just did kind of a little circle shape. And then use a dark blue for the pupils. Again, not going with black. I just wanted a really soft looking theme. And then so I added some little dots to trail the bees, like, you know, like falling pollen. <laughs> and just add a little bit of something to my design that I felt like was missing. I'm just adding some more pupils because the white paint wasn't dry yet. And then I mixed a really light pink, just to add a bit of blush to give some more character to my little bees. <laughs> I think it makes them a little bit cuter. I might have a habit of over blushing everything. <laughs> and there we go. So I hope you liked this video and be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.